Welcome, welcome. I'm here today at Twickenham Stadium. My name's James Wilson from Faith World TV and I am here for a massive, massive, massive conference you will not believe. Look around us. We've got Twickenham Stadium here. There is 82,000 seats and it's for the NSPPD conference, the UK Prayer Conference, just on the piggyback of the Houston Conference a couple of weeks ago. But I'm here with the, the host and the founder Pastor Jerry Easy. Hello, sir. Hello. My pleasure being here. It's really great to really great to meet you. Really great to see you. We're really excited about this event. Now, I just wanted to talk to you very briefly about last year's event. Right. Last year, right. where you were at the Excel Center for two days, yes. and you had just over, well, over 30,000 people a day. Yes. But you're here at Twickenham this year. Why is that? Um, well, the truth is that, like the Bible will say, the harvest is plenteous and the laborers are few. And um, in fact, I believe that what is happening in the UK at this season is absolutely very prophetic, coupled with a meeting that um, we're having. So when you look at it, you know that there is a birthing. There's a birth thing. The Bible says as soon as Sion travailed, she brought forth her children. But the most important thing is that for every birthing process, there needs to be a midwife. And so we believe that the, the travailing, UK is in a travailing season. And so God put this program in this season as a midwife to the new season UK is about to experience. That's all I can, ex or that's how I can experience what seemed like a mini turbulent to the birthing of the new United Kingdom and the prayer conference coming in the middle of it. So I never knew, we, we thought we put the dates there, but for everything that is happening right now, we look back and say, gosh, this is actually very prophetic. So my heart is heavy. There will be revival. There will be show of God's power. We came here by mandate. We didn't come by man. If this is man, I won't be here. But then again, everyone should expect everything God in this meeting. And, and indeed, and you've you've sold out. You've got eighty two thousand seats here, yes. and you're full up. Yes, you're full up. Yes. But that's not to say, people, that you can't still come along and try to get in. There will be hopefully some last chances for some tickets to come and see. But you know how it is. So some people can book tickets, and at the last minute, something might just happen here and there, and they may not be able to make it. You know, so if people should just come, come along. God will make space for you. That it is his banqueting hall. He's, he's laid up everything. So, I mean, all God expects of us is just to come, come. You know, like the Bible will say on the last day of the feast, the call was made. You know, I say, he that is thirsty, let him come. That's yeah. right. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so come along if you possibly can. Try and get here. Now, just to very quickly, a little bit about Springs of Joy International. You're the founder of the lead mm -hmm. pastor. It's grown tremendously. Mm -hmm. You've got over 15 uh, branches across the world in the US, Canada, here in Africa. What's, it, where, what's next for Springs of Joy? Where, are we, where can we hope to see some new, new churches pop up? You know, okay, well, around the world. We, I mean, we have new churches in the offering. We have new churches that are going to spring up in the UK. We have new churches that will spring up also in the US. We have new churches spring up in Nigeria. And all of these things will happen this year. We have many more new churches springing up this year. However, um, I am not typically the kind of person who knows what I'm going to do next. So, yes. It's so God's it, will. It's God's will. So God can wake me up this morning and say, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So I, I, I guess my associates are a little bit a little bit tired of me so they go like when did we plan this how is this going to happen you know and all of that too but then again once God says move we move and that's it so what happened last year with NSBPD UK prayer conference because first time and we were not prepared for it and God just said it's time to go to the UK and I told my guys let's go to the UK they're like what plans I said let's just go and yeah. God will do the rest and that's how you first the first one came to me and here we are yeah, the second one. Uh, and my worry for you this, well, my worry for you next year is last year you were there for two days with 60,000 people. This year you're here for one day with 82,000 people. Right. Where's next? Where's going to be big enough to hold the prophetic prayers? Where are we going to see you next? Um, um, well, for the UK, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is supposed to be the second largest stadium um, in the UK. The second largest stadium in the UK. So I, I don't know where next. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm, I'm so excited about what God is doing. Now, you know that in the past, like in the past, in the recent past, we've not had, you know, a gospel event 
packing our stadiums like this. This is not a music gospel event. This is no. a prayer event. Yeah, for so revival. What yeah. then is revival? Exactly. Revival. You just go, yeah. what then is revival? To know that men and women are gathering yeah. and all they're doing is to come together and pray. Jesus, I'm happy to see this in my time. Now, yeah. even if I were not the convener of this, this meeting, I will still kneel beside my bed and I say, God, thank you for what is happening at Twickenham. We are live to witness this massive revival. Amen, amen. And it's going to be full of supernatural wonders, absolutely brimming. Last year and last uh, fortnight ago yes. um, in, in Houston, yes. I mean, the miracles and the wonders that people yes. saw were phenomenal. Absolutely. And so this is it. Now, let me tell you the truth. Now, at the start of, of what is birthing, uh, uh, what um, is birthing these conferences, and that is NSPPD, at the start of it, the, the idea, the agenda was never miracles. You know, it was COVID and all I wanted to do was to encourage the hearts of people. Don't be, don't be angry. Um, don't get afraid. You know, then get intimidated. Nothing will go wrong. You know, that, that was actually the vision. But then again, God hijacked it. You know, by the time we know what's happening, people say they were getting healed. Respiratory diseases were getting healed. And you just kept going like this and people poof. And it was just like a, an inferno and the miraculous broke out. So right under my nose, I'm seeing what I used to admire in the lives of other people. I'm seeing the things I look at some men of God and I, I'm seeing the blind see, the lame walk, the wow, paralyzed, wow. the dead come back to life. Most of all, the very exciting thing about this is that I have many me's arising. There's an army yeah. rising. So it's not just about Pastor Jerry. It's about people pick up the fire. They meet a negative situation. They say, not in our house. People, so they, there's an army that is challenging the devil. For me, that is the major thrust of NSPPD. And that is huge. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. Um, it's so great. And it's such a shame there's only 82,000 seats here. So for the viewers, for everyone watching this right now, remind them how they can actually tune in to NSPPD UK conference tomorrow. Absolutely. Um, so we, 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 we will look at, um, we'll look at um, the, the equipment we have here um, and be sure that we can stream, you know, um, that I can guarantee right now. Yeah. That I can guarantee. So as many that can find their way down here, they should, you know, that we can guarantee. But when we come, we'll work out the logistics and see what. Oh, there's nothing better than being face to face in the presence of God. Absolutely. God's going to pour in from the skies. Bible He's going to come through you. Not the gathering of ourselves together as the manner of some is. And this is what I say all the time. Atmospheres cannot be recreated. Face to face is better than face to face. Come along if you can. You've got to come along. It's going to be immense. Pastor Jerry, it's been a blessing to meet you. Thank you so much. I know that the conference is going well. I'm not going to wish you luck, but I'm looking forward to next year when you're doing it. Maybe here for three days or in a bigger stadium if god's providing he's going to give us a bigger stadium somewhere specifically for revivals we don't see enough of it get rid of the rugby and the football let's have some revival and some prayer meetings like this so bless you ever so much thank you very much for your time and um i'm going to say it, even if you don't but what god cannot do does not exist remember that what god cannot do does not exist god bless you bless you sir thank you thank you